the Samsung Galaxy S21 performance and design have been revealed. The chipset powering the Samsung Galaxy S21 in the Qualcomm regions is can be the Snapdragon 888 this was announced in the keynote, and because 12 of their 14 partners Chinese smartphone manufacturers they decided to label it the Snapdragon 888 as 888, symbolizes luck and prosperity and the company wishes for continued success. They also announced that the chipset powering the Galaxy S21 has a 5nm chipset with the first ever on Cortex-X1 performance core, and it works. A 2.84 GHC the advice we can get 25%. Better performance over the predecessor, and that the new Adrena 660 GPU promises a 35%. Faster graphics rendering than the predecessor, the new chipset supports up to 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, as can be interesting to see if Samsung fully utilizes this with the Galaxy. So incredible news for those of you in the Snapdragon region. And also the good news is for those of you in the X, and also there are multiple reports of the Axiom CPU at least outperforming the Snapdragon 888. We have been advised of this from reliable leakers such as Ice Universe Samsung, Twitter even tweeted this morning to say hello world this doesn't give anything away, it's more than likely just a little teaser to say they finally woken up and ready to show the world with them. Axiom 2100 can do and if that wasn't enough you we've also got new vendors for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus in the silver variant, and it looks incredible that these vendors are based on the leak information from the Galaxy S21 Plus, this was a collaboration from X-Link 7, and picked how it provides us with plenty of high-resolution images, as well as that there for 360, when the video again this render for the Galaxy S21 Plus looks exactly as we're expecting. More many are complaining that it looks very similar to the predecessor, let's not forget about this new blade bezel is a minor refinement with a very big impact, and makes the Galaxy as well is symmetrical this new lookup, with the incredible new display of the Galaxy S21. This can make many people want this phone. Next up with the leak. On the pricing structure for the Galaxy S21 series, the leak was on the blog, and states the S21 is can be starting around $850. The S21 Plus start around $1,050 and the S21 Ultra start around $1,250. The post also states that these prices are still under discussion, and there's no way to verify the information anyway, so taken with a grain of salt for now. In my opinion, they do seem a little bit too optimistic for those who is still holding out for the new note. We've also got the news that it looks like the Galaxy S21 is can be replacing it, which is have issued a new report following multiple rumors, and they state that the Galaxy S21, as well as the folder, can replace the Note line. They stated that Samsung has no plans to develop a Galaxy Note flagship for 2021. This was verified by three of its internal sources. So good news for the Samsung Galaxy S21 fans, but maybe not so because 21, ultra being the size of the Note. It does seem a little bit unnecessary these days anyway. It's just the way their products have evolved over without the Samsung Galaxy S21 series is looking incredible, especially when it comes to the Ultra I mean we get 1 4 C plus resolution with 120Hz, and we also get Aspen support. So this is exactly what I wanted. To see the Samsung fans looking for an upgrade. There are some great choices in the S21 range. We pretty much have the full leaks of specs and design for the Galaxy S21 series. So for those interested, we're gonna run through them now to help you decide if this is the phone for you. So first up with the Samsung Galaxy S21, this is the smallest in the range. And of course the entry level model that comes with a 6.2 inch dynamic Amarillo display, with an expected resolution of 1440x3200. This gives us 506 per inch, and it of course comes with an in-display fingerprint scanner, is can be a flat 120Hz LTPS display. So it's not can be capable of 120Hz 1 4th HD. You can choose between them. We get a triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixels ultra bright, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera is powered by the 5nm Snapdragon 8T to North America, the Axon 2100 globally, and it will be 5G compatible. We're expecting similar RAM and storage configurations to the predecessor, so roughly 8 gigs of RAM with 128 storage, and expect Microsoft support is powered by a 4,000 million power battery with 25. 
with fast charging support, and unfortunately, the standard Galaxy S21 is not can have Aspen support is coming with 5G Bluetooth 5.1 Wi-Fi 6, and the color choices it can be, Phantom Violet, Phantom Pink, Phantom Gray, and Phantom White, it will of course chip with one UI 3.1, based on 111, and a new report stating you can expect to see the Galaxy S21 start from $850. Next, next up with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, this is the middle of the range. It comes with a 6.7-inch dynamic Amarillo display, an expected resolution of 1440x3200, and this gives us 563 pixels per inch, and of course, it comes with an in-display fingerprint scanner again this can be a flat 120Hz LTPS panel, so we can only have 120Hz, at the full HD plus resolution of 60Hz, at the core HD, plus we get a triple camera setup, consisting of a 12 megapixel main sensor 12 megapixels ultra bright and 64 megapixel telephoto is powered by the 5nm snapdragon 8t to north america in the excellence 2100 globally and it will be 5g compatible we're expecting similar ram and storage configurations to the predecessor so again 8 gigs of ram with 128 storage and expect microsoft support is powered by a 4800 million power battery with 25 watt fast child support unfortunately the galaxy s21 plus will reportedly not support the aspen either it comes with 5G Blue, 5G Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 6, and the color choices can be Phantom Silver, Phantom Black, Phantom Gray, or Phantom Violet, and it will of course chip with One UI 3.1, based on Android 11. According to the latest leak we can expect the Galaxy S21 Plus to start from $1,050, but personally, I think this is a little bit optimistic. Finally the most premium model in the range, and that's a Samsung Galaxy S21, Ultra the Galaxy S21 Ultras is coming with a 6.8 inch dynamic Amarillo display, with a resolution of 1440x3200. This gives us 511 pixels per inch, and it will of course have the in-display fingerprint scanner as a 120Hz adaptive LTPO display, meaning we can use 120Hz at the 4-core HD plus resolution in the display. It will adapt its refresh rate from 1 to 120 Hz, to help with the power efficiency we get a court camera setup, consisting of 108 megapixels HM3 as the main sensor. We also get a 12 megapixel ultra bright and 210 megapixel cameras for 3 times, 3 times, and 10 times the optical zoom is powered by the 5nm Snapdragon 8T to North America in the Excellence 2100 globally, and it will, of course, be 5G compatible, we're expecting similar RAM and storage configurations, the predecessor so 12 gigs of RAM with 128 gig storage, and expect Microsoft support, is powered by a 5000 million power battery, with rumors of a 65, with fast charge the best news is, that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is finally can support the Aspen, with what will be sold separately, is coming with 5G Bluetooth 5.1 Wi-Fi 6, and the color choices it can be Phantom Black or Phantom Silver, it will of course with One UI 3.1, based on 111, the latest price leak reports that the Galaxy S21 Ultra will start from $1,250. So overall the Samsung Galaxy S21 range is looking incredible, what has got minor refinements over the predecessor, they are still huge improvements that make for an incredible overall user experience of course as more information comes in. I'll be sharing with you guys. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.